the ultimate DIY Halloween prop. And it's the air blaster, the ankle blaster, whatever you want to call it. It's the thing that shoots out the air at your ankles and scares the crap out of you. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys how I've made numerous ones. I've got a bunch of them that I put out for my Halloween. Starting off with a five gallon Harbor Freight air tank. And I do this because it's one of the cheapest. If you find an old air compressor, use that. Take off this little valve. We don't want it. And that's because the point of this prop is to get as much air out as quick as possible. So we're going to up that to a half inch valve. We're kind of limited to this little half coupling. It's half inch. So that's why we're going to use it. And we're going to be starting off with a half inch nipple going up to a half inch T. And once we get this screwed on, we'll continue down the line. Another half inch pipe nipple, 12 volt half inch air solenoid. And I like going 12 volt because then I can use just little type batteries. They don't take that much juice. So just those are perfect to just throw out in the yard. And then this is a, just a longer uh, half inch pipe as well. The only thing you gotta watch out for is there's a little arrow on all valves showing which direction the air needs to flow. I like ending it with a flange and that's because lots of times I'll butt it up against a wall and actually screw it in. It's just so then it's, you know, not even shown as people are walking through. You can even bump it up to a larger pipe if you want. That will give you a more of a shotgun approach. In other words, it won't be that direct air pressure. Uh, it kind of gives it a little different tone as well. So play around with it, see which will scare best for you. Half inch to quarter inch adapter, and then I'm finishing it off with a little quarter inch nipple. And that's because I like using these little pressure regulators. It doesn't matter that we're necking down on this end, and that's because we want the big large end to be consistent all throughout the exiting portion, as you will. So this guy up here, it's a little pressure regulator. I like using these because I have multiple props throughout my yard, and I want to regulate each one. Typically, I'll use up to 50, you know, around 50, 60 PSI for my pneumatics, and that would be way too much for this guy. You'll see here in a second that about 35 PSI is plenty in this tank to get a nice scare. Also check the direction of how this air should flow. Is this your very first prop? Well, you'll probably want to connect it just with a quick air hose connection, and that's um, just because that's what you have, and that's what you're going to go with. I, on the other hand, have about... 20 air props throughout my yard and so I use this just some quarter inch air tubing pneumatic tubing and then these little quick connects so just showing you it can be done multiple different ways this is how I got it hooked up there are so many different ways that you can actually activate this prop this is a 12 volt solenoid as soon as it sees 12 volts it's going to activate. Um, I just have it wired up through a little, just very simple PVC made push button type switch. So as soon as you push the button, it's gonna activate. It, it's not going because I don't have air hooked up. So it's, you're just hearing the solenoid go right now. Being this close, it does get a little loud. Here's where you can take it and sky's the limit on the scaring ability. Go have fun scaring, not just those kids, but I guarantee you, you'll get so many adults with this thing. I know it's golden when they either jump or they drop down. Now, mind you, they did want to be in the video, so I'm not that bad of a father. I'm DIY Pro. We'll see you next time.